we have a list of some uh, breeders that we think deserve some recognition that maybe by the end let's just blast off yeah you know what i'll, I'll do yeah. one right now man when we were in uh, dgc a few months back man uh, we had the opportunity of sitting down with a bunch of great homies man a shout out to everybody that pulled up i'm not even gonna name anyone because i'm gonna miss them out and i i really don't want to because just the love there was i wasn't there unbelievable i never counted you uh <laughs> um chad westport man oh, chad yeah. westport and red no, chad sir westport no joke no joke Dude, the flavor was no joke he he very 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 was not my turp i was just gonna say this kind of lines up with what i was saying with the hog dude it's like it wasn't my turp but dude it, it was turps slack, for days dude. and I, got, like, I, I was high as a kite oh yeah, I, yeah. I, I was pretty well medicated dude. it was it was one of those ones where like when somebody makes you good food and he wants to see your reaction i saw the joy in his face and we were all like oh okay this is got like this has got character. I'm been nothing should exist if it's not like, damn. I don't think the flower should even be grown if I don't take a hit. I don't want to hunt for the flavor. There's a few phenos of our genetic that we have that you got to hunt a little for the flavor. I'm not proud of those ones. The ones that you're proud of are the ones that you show off. And he came like a champion. I was like, hey, sample this. And damn, was it just like a strong, sharp, citrus, red, Gatorade. He described like a red Powerade, I think. Like it, it's strong, very fruity, different strain. I liked it. Yeah, powerful. Um, I think it hits you hard in the head, heavy on the eyes as far as effects, man. I really stony. like. Very stony. Yeah, yeah very stony. Um, that one is super pretty too. Like uh, if you look up, just search Chad Westport, no joke, Google it, and you'll see all the pictures of it. Just pretty, pretty plant covered with trichomes. I'm growing out right now, but it's still in the veg phase. So I've got it in a 10 gallon container, reused soil. I'm on my uh, seventh run in this soil. And uh, so far, it's real small. It's like a foot tall. I topped it once. Super healthy right now. It's just organic uh, amendments that are, that are in there as well. So I'm super excited to see how this thing, how the morphology is, how, how its expression is in my grow environment under organics. And uh, yeah, just you definitely want to search Google, Google it and see how pretty this particular plant is because yeah, it's, it's up there to Chad, dude he, he his passion shines through where he's because again he's not a loud you know chest pushed out kind of guy he's just like oh man i, I know he was very like bashful about it if i'm not mistaken okay. he also sells his genetics for like a dollar a bean he does testing bucks. things where he hooks oh, it up super it cheap yeah, and really you get a shirt you get it like he, he, he's Chad, about dude, it Chad's he's a good guy it. man he's a, Chad's a guy. good guy these are dudes that are in the space that when they're putting out projects they're the ones you support yep. because they're going to make sure you're going to get right. You yeah. know, they're going to take care of you. You know, and there's competitions out there that like, don't, don't use the taste or the effect as part of the judging. Did you know that? It's all about, it, sorry, I said taste, but I meant effect. And, 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 it, and, the, and they don't allow the, um, the, 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 the bias to seek through. And it's like, cause, and the, and the reasoning is it's like, well, if, if I don't like, citrus terps well then i'm gonna vote lower on that one no i think you're being biased because i as soon as i cracked it open <laughs> knew right away not my terp immediately but when you it, cracked it open it, sm it kicked you in the mouth reeked like it wasn't my terp you know i could not deny I, it would be foolish for me to think that that's shit weed yeah dude it, that's that was so it's far pretty from it. too just because i didn't prefer it i'd be a fool to think that it d wasn't packed full of taste because it was it was a taste i didn't like so it's like that's just that's that's just my preference. I would give it literally a five out of five on taste, hundred percent. And I and think I didn't like it. You know what I'm? Am, am I like articulating that well enough? Well, it's like, that's that's somebody who understands quality herbs. You can be, and that's where we as we should be judges for some events soon too. I would it's like, like to. We understand like that's some fire. I'm I don't like the, it I'm at all for the auto flower. But that's cup some fire. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that ain't going. No, it's different flavors though. I mean, like there's like there's Genex that had this this funky footy flavor and some people hate that they're like oh get this away from me other people love it like rob i know loves that fun but it's also the fact that i can understand when it's something i hate if it's that dramatic where i'm like whoa that's something to be said mm. you know what i'm saying and it, it's also understanding what the mass is like in flavor so if the mass is right now like fruity candy flavors you know certain genetics that can take a hit and be like wow this yeah. is in that realm or again super boof immediately like i told you before we got it i was like you're not gonna like it but it's so to what it is in that category that people who do like it 
love it. Peanut butter breath. Peanut butter breath. It's, Go right it's, down the line. It's very right? specific. It's very, very specific. And it's, if some people really like it, some people really don't. And I think that that's what makes genetics so beautiful is I can have not just red, yellow, green, you know, the basic colors like Todd, you know, McCormick says, we've got all sorts of different shades that make it so someone's like, I like this, but I really like this. Like one of mine that I have is Donnie Burger. Oh yeah. For which is that. from a, a Skunk House Genetics, which is a GMO cross with Larry OG. GMO, fire, love it. But it's a slight variation of GMO that's not as putrid and almost in a creamy with the funky GMO, still majorly GMO, but almost less onion and more garlic with a earth mushroom. You know what I'm saying? So it's really like a variation of GMO. But dude, that shit slaps like absolute hard hitter, heavy eyed munchies. I get munchies bad from that one. And it's, it's a unique effect that for me, I've noticed translates to almost everybody. Where sometimes it's subjective, but everyone's like, dude, that I get the munchies really bad from it. I was like, yeah, me too. That's funny. I normally don't get the munchies from Bud, but that one in particular does. So it's it's certain stuff that it'll be loved or hated, but it stands out from the pack that makes me really think like, damn, you deserve a, a very honorable mention, a bold letter or an underline in the book. Yep, that's good. No, I, I've heard you talk about that one before, and the, that's one I'm pretty sure that magically arrived. Did that make yeah, its way yeah, it did. It, somehow, I think that one made its way to a Jibo cookie. It's sister <laughs> somehow got to Colorado. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So yeah, it was weird. That's interesting. But weird. One, uh, one, one that I particularly would like to mention. This is like a favorite of mine too. Is is Dreadnought OG. Dreadnought OG is by Ocean Grown Genetics. Vader and the Boys. It's across. Yeah. Shout out to Vader and the Boys. Dago. Um. You know. Scrap. Yep, shrimp. Um, it's a cross between Vader OG. It's the third cross of the Vader OG, a cross with Obi Wan OG. And this is both their original genetics. Yes. Yep. Yep. And this is this this plant right here is what made me realize that my cloning game needed to step up because I right now have three mother plants in my tent. From our collaboration with Swank, shout out to our guy, that I am like just keeping alive because I'm like, I'm not sold that I'm really going to give up on any of these three phenos yet. And I want to make sure that I keep that mom. It was smart to do that because the, we're seeing differences. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're seeing differences in the Donnie or the, uh, the Dreadnought OG is a prime example of that. I got in my humble opinion some of the best smoke i have ever had it reminded me of like walking into a mechanics shop with like oily tools and like grime and it's like there's a little bit of like smell of gas in the air and it's like i like to i know that exact odor oh it was heavenly and and i i just it was something that i never wanted to give up if i could get trapped on an island somewhere with one weed it would be that one and not just dreadnought og because this is why i learned that i need to step my clone game up was because i grew it again and it wasn't the one that i had and i i miss it i miss it like i miss it like an old dog dude i really really wish i had that one. did you mention the parents yeah the, yeah for vader dreadnought? OG vader, yeah so vader that's OG and <laughs> okay yeah right. and i grew the yep. vader og too and i didn't have phenos that i liked but goblin did I had a breeder pack though to give me F ones also. I had a hundred of them. Shout out to them. Yeah, great. So it's ocean there. grown ocean genetics. Grown genetics. Yeah. I grew out there Malibu pie, and what you so, were explaining uh, is exactly like the Malibu pie. Really, Malibu has, Malibu pie uh, is great too. It was. I yeah, had another that one. one. I didn't grow it. Out. Dude, it was I, so good. Yeah, I I've, grew up one of theirs, and I forgot which one it was. But they're very, very terpy. That's the thing is, all their stuff that I had was very aromatic and like slapped you in the face. It was a, this one was really sweet. I didn't like it so much. My mom loved it. But the Vaders, dude, they were all like sour diesel, like very diesel, like like funky, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah, and, like, yep, yep. Fuel, I just, one, yeah. I yep. wish that one. That was all fuel. I wish that one was around still, just for the the simple fact that it's a breeding. It was a good breeding start, you know. If you wanted to get a gas, you start with the Vader OG and you work that into something else, and it really brings out that nastiness. To it, I wonder you know? if the whole his whole line is like that. I've only grown out the Malibu Pie, but what you're explaining and what you got, yeah, there's a lot of the Dreadnought OG is like similarities between yep. all of it, huh? That Vader's real fuel, a dude, and he 
he's so it's to his palate, I guess. Well, right? He's so intentional with his breeding. If you watch his oh. breeding videos, he's very, very intentional. What he wants to see the traits to come out. And it makes sense the ones that have stuck around and the ones that haven't uh, because he's found that maybe he can't get the exact thing that he's looking for out of them. So once they're gone, they're gone. He moves on. And I respect that. You know, it's like, it's almost an artist's touch. This FTS clip was brought to you by AC Infinity, leaders in garden innovation. Use discount code the stash 15 at checkout to save some money on your order. From the Stash Podcast.